new borough of Bangor. Would you like me to read some of the correspondence we had before Hi. we left? I would. I, John Hamilton, as the provost of this new borough, will be working alongside 12 borough justices, men of good standing, and we will create powers for the enactment of good government. His Majesty also allows this new borough to elect two men where they to sit in Parliament. He empowers the new borough of Bangor to hold a court each Saturday to deal with debt and trespass. Permission has also been granted to form a merchant's guild that a market might be held for trade on each Thursday of the week, with fairs to be held on November the 11th and the 1st of May each year. And as the new provost of this borough of Bangor, I will be the clerk of the market as decreed by the king. And how will this be regulated? Well, there will be freemen from the borough who will be sworn by oath to inspect what is being traded in the market. For instance, the inspector of Tallow and Hines, in regards to the execution of his duty, he is required to view the Tallow and Hines in the market each market day, if oftener of their own take off, that they be of sufficient work and made a right town level, and he is to behave without all manner of partiality. Oh, this is all very interesting. James is due home any time now. Would you care to wait for his return? I indeed will. Uh, James has also said that uh, he would develop the port down in Bangor to make it worthy of this new bank. So maybe travel across the sea in the future will not be so troublesome. Oh, look, there's James now. We will go and greet him. Aye, right, let's. celebrating and commemorating all that was good, all that was different and all that was new and exciting 400 years ago. What would have happened immediately after the declaration would have been that the businesses of the area would have got together to see how they could actually work together for mutual benefit and we hope we've done that this year by working with many partners internal and external. And the next thing they would have done would be to anticipate new business, uh, new visitors and an, a, a requirement to meet that demand and there would have been a great deal of rejoicing. They would not have co confined that to the week in March, they would have actually celebrated for the entire year and we're replicating that opportunity to maximise the benefit for ourselves as a borough and the visitors and the businesses within the borough. One of the exciting things we've been able to do is to work with a Bangor based company to extend the range and uh, different opportunities and that give us a modern feel and hopefully something that we can develop and we truly intend this to be the first um, of many Bank of 400s. In order to do that, we have been out through a tender process and we're delighted that the local company has won. They're here with us today to tell you a little bit more about what's going to be different in August of this year via Bank of 400 and the Open House Festival is Kieran. So I'd just like to, Kieran is going to have a chat to you, explain that, and then we're going to have a short performance. Okay. Um, thanks very much, everyone. Uh, Mayor uh, Alderman, ladies and gentlemen. I've spent most of my adult uh, working life putting people up on a stage in front of a microphone. But when it comes to uh, myself, uh, I've got to make some notes, so please excuse me if I, if I look down uh, and read through these. Uh, first of all, very excited to see as part of the, uh, the rest of the programme that we've got an exhibition of uh, Colin Middleton paintings, one of my uh, favourite uh, figurative painters, so uh, very excited about that. Um, I'm delighted that Open House Festival has the opportunity to create a new festival for Bangor as part of the Bangor 400 celebrations. Uh, with the kind financial support of North Down Borough Council, we're able to plan a programme of events for the whole month of August. When we consider other events in Bangor, such as the Aspects Irish Literary Festival, we can say that standards are very high. Plans for Open House Bangor 400 are at a very early stage, but we hope to include music, film, comedy, literature and visual arts and to use a whole range of venues around the town centre. There will be ticketed events and there will be free events and they will all suit a wide range of audiences. There will be international artists and local performers but all performances will be a very high standard of artistic content 
that we can promise you. Uh, this is very exciting for Open House Festival and for me personally. During the 15 years that we have been delivering Open House Festival in the Cathedral Quarter in Belfast, we have seen the striking changes that have taken place there and the complete cultural and economic rejuvenation of the area. It has proven that goods, good arts activity can generate cultural tourism, civic pride and economic growth. It's great to be starting something new here in my adopted hometown of Bangor, uh, 15 years here. Um, and following the tough economic times in Bangor town centre that we're all acutely aware of, I've recently felt a new sense of optimism and creative energy in the town, with developments like the First Day Arts Network, Project 24 on the seafront, the new Bangor Aurora Aquatic and Leisure Complex, and significant regeneration of investment plans through public realm, along with the specialist street markets. We hope to tap into that creative energy and to work dynamically with local businesses, local retailers, and local artists in planning and rolling out the festival. We'll be actively looking for partners, for creative ideas and for volunteers and of course for local audiences to come and support the festival events. We'll be announcing more details of Open House Bangor 400 in the coming months but for the moment put August in your diary and watch out for the festival programme. If I'd just like to introduce two local artists from fantastic local band Farriers who are going to come I think and give us a song about Bangor and um, give a, a warm welcome to Rachel Coulter and Stephen McCartney of Farrier. Spider. 
sparks of distant days not drawn. Proceedings. There's lots of food, and obviously this is you've all seen a preview of the exhibition. But before we actually finally finish and say uh, goodbye for the afternoon, I'd just like the following people to put their hands up because if you don't know them, please use them as a contact throughout the year. And starting from the back of the room, we have Alison, our tourism manager, and we have Patricia, our arts officer. Okay, and we have David, who is responsible for regeneration in the area, and we have Wendy Smith. Here is our actual events officer who does the actual, actual delivery. Um, for, and if you really want something to be done, here's our chief exec, Trevor. <laughs> so thank you very much, and particularly for all the organisations that I can see um, in the audience. For anyone that doesn't know, we will also have a new museum manager starting with us post Easter. And uh, we're very much looking forward to welcoming her into North Down. She knows some of you already, and she's very much looking forward to being part of Bangor 400. So hopefully, with our support teams and our partners inside and outside of council, working alongside with you, we can all look forward to a fabulous Bangor 400. So please, before anyone leaves, please enjoy the food and the drinks and get to know your session. And we're all here if you have any questions that we can answer for you. Okay, thank you.